afternoon, sir. Here. Good afternoon, sir, fisherman. I want to talk about an easy and inexpensive way to make tubes for your lure bags. First, let's take a look at some of the bags I've used in the past. Beautiful. You could fit 20, 30 lures in this bag. Double them up, go out, and you'll probably use about four or five of them. But it's always nice to have those other lures. Tins. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Ready to go at a moment's notice. But for most cases, I'm going to be walking the beach maybe a mile one way and a mile back again. My shoulders kill me by that time. Then I went to a smaller bit. Once again, still plenty of lures. This probably weighs about six or seven pounds and by the middle trip, it hurts. It just digs into your shoulders. No matter how wide you make that, it just digs right in there. Finally, I said, OK, there's got to be a better way, right? I bought some small ammo bags, similar to these. These are a little narrow. They only fit a one-inch pipe in here. And unfortunately, they have openings so that the bottom, the bottom hook on the lure usually catches underneath there and I want to dump the whole thing out just to get that lure out. So I started looking around and I found this one little milk cap. This usually comes on a gallon size. And this will fit right on the end of a one inch Schedule 30 pipe, PVC pipe. It's got to be it's the Schedule 30. It's thin and lightweight. You can slip that right on there, give it a jam, a little bit of crazy glue, and you're good to go. Drill a couple of small drain holes so the hooks don't fall back in again, and you're all set to, to load up a small ammo bag like this. There's another one. This one is looks the same, but in reality, it's a little wider. So I'm able to get the one and a quarter inch in. One and a quarter inch works great, and these caps are milk caps from a half gallon of milk. Whole milk. That's why they're red. The blue one is probably 2%. Really doesn't matter. They're the same size. You can slip them right in and glue them with a little bit of crazy glue, and they're good forever. Well, that's for as long as we can. That's what the PVC pipe looks like at home stores. Easy to cut, and just size them up so that they don't stick out of the bag. That should be just a little bit below the lip of the bag. Those are fine. But I needed a better solution, and I came up with the combat belt. Oops, see ya. Real easy. Everything's on one belt. I got my knife and pliers together. I have this first bag. It's wide and short. I think this is a first aid kit. I found these available on, probably got them on eBay. They're about $8. And I have three large opening, one and a quarters, and I have a couple of halves, or three quarters, and two ones in here to get an assortment of lures. I've been using this for most of the year. It works really well. The second one <coughs> on the side ah, is for terminal gear and some soft baits. Everything is in little plastic wrappers. Pull them out, set them up and I'm good to go. So I'm ready for just about any occasion. Uh, once again, you never use more than four or five lures unless you're going to spend 12, 13 hours on the beach. You keep your best lures in here and you use them, and the one that's on your line is the one that's going to catch the fish. You'll need to drink plenty of milk to get all these caps. Either that or make friends with somebody who drinks plenty of milk. Save these caps. Easy to set up, easy to do, cheap. These are about eight bucks a piece. These were about six dollars. Light, easy, travel, and you'll catch fish, and you won't be going, oh, my shoulder's killing me. Oh, my God. All righty. Thank you.